Hello, once again class, good morning It's science time Today's lesson is all about terrestrial animals and aquatic animals Do you ever think if a fish or whales can survive in land? What do you think will happen if we put them on land? And can you imagine a pig and an elephant live and breathe underwater? What do you think is the reason why they cannot adapt to live in water? Each animal have different body structures and different body parts that enable them to adapt to live in its particular habitat. Some animals adapt to live on land and some animals adapt to live on water. Adaptation is the structure or behavior that helps an organism survive in its environment. Some animals, like I said before, can adapt to live on land and some animals can adapt to live on water. Animals that adapt to live and survive on land is called terrestrial animals. And let's learn the different characteristics of animals that live on land or called terrestrial animals. Some land animals are covered with fur to keep them warm. Examples are bear, wolf, sheep, and lions. They use their thick fur to protect themselves from a cold weather. Other animals also use their fur to hide both from their prey and predators. Other land animals have two legs and covered with feathers for flying. Example of these animals are chicken, eagle, turkey, ostrich, and more. Some land animals have a smooth skin for breathing like worms. They hide underground and some worms hide in the dead tree. Some land animals have hard and dry scales for protection. Examples of these animals are snakes, chameleon, scorpions, and snails. And of course, like human, most terrestrial animals have lungs. They use it for breathing. That's why if you put these animals on water, for sure they will die. But did you know that not all land animals have lungs? Bees don't have nostrils, lungs, or gills. They breathe through 10 pairs of valves in their body. These valves called spiracles are located on the sides of their body. Three pairs of the thorax, six on the abdomen, and one pair hidden within the sting chamber. Worms do not have lungs, but worms breathe through their skin. They take oxygen through their skin and it goes right into their bloodstream. Their skin must stay wet in order for the oxygen to pass through it. But too much water, they will drown. That's why worms live in a moist and slimy place. Now let's talk about aquatic animals. Animals that live in water and can adapt in water environment is called aquatic animals. Examples of these aquatic animals are fish. And we all know that fish are covered with scales for protection from disease and from other animals that live in water. Their scales are smooth and slimy, arranged overlapping from head to tail so as the water slips smoothly as it moves forward. Fish have gills for breathing underwater and fins for swimming. It's trivia time! Do you know that the most poisonous fish in the world is called stonefish? It is an ambush predator which waits camouflage on the bottom. It looks like stone and it looks like rocks. That's why if you are planning to go to the beach because the summer is near, be careful not to step on a stonefish and for sure you will be paralyzed, poisoned, and even die. How about the biggest fish in the world? Of course, 
almost all of us knew it and the biggest fish in the world is shark but some people confused because their answer might be whale whale is the biggest fish in the world but did you know that whale is not a fish but a mammal and whale does not have gills for breathing they cannot breathe underwater like fish they do not have gills after each breath the blowhole is sealed tightly by strong muscles that surround it so that water cannot get into the whale or dolphin's lungs how about the fastest fish to swim it is called the sailfish clock at speeds in excess of 68 meters per hour some experts consider the sailfish the fastest fish in the ocean world and now let's go back to our lesson class aquatic animals have the ability to hold breath underwater for a long period of time they do not have gills but they do have lungs but they adapt to live in water that's why they are called aquatic animals like for example the blue whale a while ago dolphins sea cow sea crocodile and more they do not have gills they have lungs but they adapt to live on water that's why they call aquatic animals aquatic animals have fins or limbs adapted for swimming including web feet for animals that don't spend all their time in the water like otters and beavers and lastly aquatic animals have tails that act as paddles like for example the stingray and pawican or sea turtle so now that you know the different characteristics and body parts of animals that able them to adapt to live on land and water don't remove them in their own habitat because for sure they will die animals have also right to live to love and to care like human beings so class that's all for today so hope you learned something new and always remember knowledge is power see you next time bye bye